so now in this video we will create a login screen okay first we will go there and click on this lib create a new directory and we will name this as a log underscore in okay now write in here in the login right click and create a new dot file name this as a login screen okay login underscore screen in here we will have a stateless widget and we are going to name this as a login screen so now simply we will remove that const key we don't need this and click on this stateless widget in here and import the library material dot dart now we will go back to the main dot dart in here we will remove that scaffold and we will write login screen ok here we go import the library first we need to remove that const from here ok all good now as you guys can see and there is a library for the login screen at the top as you guys can see ok so now let us go to the login screen so there is nothing in the login screen that's why it showed this display black screen so we will create a beautiful UI just in a while so first we will have some decoration so right inside the box decorations we will have a linear gradient color it will be a beautiful mixture of two color okay so we will give this so let's do that inside the container in here right on the login screen okay decoration there we go we will say box decoration okay right inside the box decoration we will be gradient okay as I told you before about the gradient now in there there will be a linear gradient okay so right in here we will have a properties the first property will be color okay and uh, you will give a beautiful color right in here now so we will say colors we will go with the pink okay pink shade and also colors dot you will go with the deep orange okay and we will give the shade 300 will be good okay so now we will begin that set the alignment okay to the center left and we will simply end it to the alignment center right okay there we go and now let's give the last property stops okay and we will start it with a 0 0.2 and the 0 0.9 okay all good in here so now right after there will be chow right after the box decoration and in here we will have a scaffold okay and in there we will set the initial background color So colors dot transparent okay all good in here so now we will run the application and see the output okay come here and click on this run man dot dot click on this play button and let's see the output as you guys can see the beautiful color okay it's a mixture of a pink and a deep orange with a shade 300 so it's a pretty cool mixture of a two color as you guys can see in here okay I was talking about that and in here you can add the const modifier 
or you can leave it it didn't even matter but that's fine in here okay now let's move further so right after in the scaffold as usual there will be a body and body right in the center we will show some beautiful head text okay and then we will have the credentials so first in here we will say child and in child we will say single child scroll view okay and right in there you will have a child again and then you have a column widget okay as you guys can see okay in there go with children okay and now right in the children we can create the head text and the credential right in here but we will not do that and we will do it in a professional way okay so for that for now we will come right here in the login okay we will create a new directory and we will name this as a components okay it will be for a login screen and there will be a head text and the credential okay just for the login okay there we go now right in here what we will do we will simply create a new dot file okay and we will name this as a heading underscore text it must be like that okay in a small alphabets like that okay heading text now right in here we will have a stateless widget okay and uh, we will name this as a head text okay as you guys can see in here now simply we don't need this const key you can leave it or you can remove it okay so I will remove it simply and then we will click on this stateless widget okay and then we will import this material dot dart okay that's fine so now simply we will remove that container okay right in the head tags okay and we will have a padding right in here there we go so right in there let's set the padding as in sack okay we will go with the symmetric one okay the horizontal will be 30.0 and we will give the vertical to 15 point oh okay right after in here child and in child you will have a column widget okay there we go and in here there will be children right in the children okay now we will set the size box okay because we want the head text of our login screen and there we will show something like photo sharing okay whenever we start the application there will be a photo sharing that's why we are adding in here the size box to create some beautiful distance between the head text and in here the top area it will be somewhere right here okay so let's add that okay in here the size box and we will take the height of the screen whatever the screen height is okay so for that simply in here just for taking the height and size whatever the screen is okay so for that in here you will say size and then type size and then we will equal that to the media query okay we will remove that from here the properties of our media query okay and we will simply say off and there will be context and and there will be dot size so it will simply take the size of whatever the screen is okay now simply in here in the size box we will say height okay and in there you will say size that size okay in here we use it and now dot height remove that comma first and dot height okay and then we will multiply it with 0 0.05 to give some proper alignment so it will look beautiful it's fine in here whenever we run the application you guys will see the output okay but first 
let me some code right in here okay so that way we'll see some output on the screen okay so now right after the size box in here we will simply have a center widget okay put comma in here now in the center right in the center okay you have a child and in child you will show that text okay so the text will be as I told before it will be a photo sharing okay now of the application right in the start whenever we are on the application so let's give some style okay text style as you guys can see in there first we will set the font size for it okay for this text for the shading it will be 70 comma right after let's add the color for it colors we will go with the white one okay that's fine in here right after let's set the font weight okay font weight dot ball okay it's fine in here now we will show the output okay first we will go to the login screen first copy that from here go to the login screen in here now write in the children in there paste it okay head tags that we created before now you will import the library click on the head tags and uh, import that heading tags okay so the red line is gone now let's go back to the heading tags in here okay now let's run the application and see the output okay as you guys can see in here the photo sharing okay we will we will simply make the size a little bit small in here the font size okay just change this to 60 change it to 55 for now it's fine as you guys can see the photo sharing okay now right after simply now right down in here with the photo sharing down in here we will show the text something like login okay so first in here right after the center we will have a center widget again okay and first comma in here and then in there we will have a child and in child there will be text and in text we will say something like login okay let's do some styling for it okay so style text style okay that's fine in here let's set the font size we will set it to 30 okay and right after let's set the color we will go with the colors dot white 30 okay it will be a little not more pure white okay so this fine in here now right after let's set the font weight is fine font weight we will go with the bold one okay scroll down just now check it control s save it as you guys can see there is a login okay it's looking pretty cool now let's create a some height between them between the photo sharing and login right in here okay so right in here size box you will give the height to 20 point okay let's save it now that's fine it's looking pretty cool now okay it's cool and also we will add the font family okay right in here first for the photo sharing we will say font family we will go with the signature let me show you the fonts that we added before in the postpack.yaml right in here we set the path for it okay fonts you can use the babas lobster signature verilla okay 
reset the part okay and uh, right in the asset in here there is the fonts okay so in here we will simply use the signature one okay simply write name like that okay signature and then save control s and let's see as you guys can see now photo sharing it's looking pretty cool now okay than before and we will simply copy that and down in here now also for the login but with the login we will go with the babas okay let me check the spelling babas okay we can only use the name let me show you in here that family name okay this for using it on displaying it so let's go back and in here we will remove that and we will say babas okay that's fine babas okay let's save it and see it's looking pretty cool now as you guys can see okay there's a photo sharing and there is a login and it's look really cool now we will simply change the size of our photo sharing we will change this again to 70 okay it's looking pretty cool and that's fine in here and if you guys want to change the size of our login in here you can change it or otherwise it's fine okay let's change it to 35 that's good okay now we will simply remove these yellow lines okay add this constant modifier also with here the center now the size box in here now the center all good as you guys can see all the your lines has been gone okay so now the heading is done for the login okay now we will go towards the credential okay so in the credential we will have a icon image for the photo sharing and there will be email password okay so it will be a beautiful UI so for that simply we are done with the hidden text so simply close that for now and now in here in the login screen dot dot first we will go in here in the login and then components and then we will create a new directory and we will name this as a uh, info dot dart okay it will be simply for the credential of a user now in here we will have a stateless widget okay and we will name this as a uh, credential okay as I told you before it's fine in here we don't need this key let's remove that and we will simply add the library material dot dart okay so that's it for this video right in the next video we will work on that okay